Hi, my name is Peter Kuo, and I am the radio adapter and director of this year's production of A Christmas Carol on Air. I wanted to talk about Christmas Future simply because in the original Dickens novel, Christmas Future is a specter that doesn't speak, but only kind of exists and points things out. And it's a little bit hard to have a character that doesn't speak in a radio play. And on the Christmas Carol stage production, normally it's represented by this big black bird-like creature um, that has these big wings that kind of close and open up to reveal different visions to Scrooge. It's very large and intimidating, and it's kind of moves like a ghost. Um, That's not something that we are able to share on this radio drama. Instead, the way that this production of A Christmas Carol is presented, it is utilizing these four different narrators. They're reading A Christmas Carol out loud together, and through reading it, these characters come to life. It's this kind of magical way of how we're telling this story. And what I decided was, as the play progresses, once we get to Christmas future, the future spirit kind of pseudo-possesses the different narrators, and she chooses to speak through them. And at one point in the play, basically the narratives start overlapping each other in telling the different narrative sections. The phantom conducted him through several streets familiar to his feet. They entered poor Bob Cratchit's house, the dwelling he had visited before, and found the mother and the children seated around the fire. Quiet. Very that adds in a really interesting element of this kind of ominous spirit. There are a lot of amazing sound effects that are put together by our sound designer, Jake, and it's, it's just quite a, a fantastic feat.